Welcome back my friends and fellow gamers. I'm Rath and today we're taking a look back at Empyrean Galactic Survival. Now this was a game that I bought into uh, way back when it was in like Alpha 2 I want to say. And then I stuck around with it for up, I think right up to about Alpha 3, Alpha 4. Uh, and then I stopped. I just, I'd gotten tired of it and I was decided to go and do other things. Uh, and so we're back now to see how the game has changed and I, I really like doing these kind of videos because it gets me a it gives me a chance to let the game develop for a while and and grow and then I get to take a look at it a little further down the line and see how it has how it has changed uh, and for those of you waiting for additional videos for uh, Is a lot of water. Let's see if we can make that island over there. Maybe if we get just down. I don't think we're gonna make it. I have to aim for this one. Uh, but uh, for those of you waiting for more Hellion videos, uh, there's currently a semi game breaking bug being reported that can basically just ruin the game. So I'm gonna wait and see how they how they handle that. Oh no 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 no! Oh, okay, let's go. Don't don't sink. Come on, stop 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 stop! Uh, don't go in the water. Okay, uh, I think we're gonna. Come on, stop. Stop. Okay. Sweet. No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Stay out of the water. Okay. Alright. So. Let's check our inventory. Alright. And then F1. Personal file. Okay. So let's look around for some food. Okay. Alright, so we're kind of hosed right now. There's a wreck right over there. Swim across here. Okay, there's a distress signal for an unidentified, and it's that way. All right. All right. So we got a big old broken piece of ship here. This is probably from our ship that we crashed in. Uh, and, ooh, those optic cables are going to be a huge boon for us. So let's go ahead and start moving our way towards that thing. And do we have... Okay, we're going to have to watch our food. Now, among the things that we need... Ooh, we can get this guy here. We can convert that into an energy bar. Uh, oh, let's get our tools out here. Okay. So what was I saying? Oh yeah. Uh, while we're while we're going, is that silicon rock? Where are you? Oh no, you're just regular rock. Alright, so along the way here we're going to need to gather up some raw materials so that we can build the basic tools that we're going to need. 
Uh, one of those things that we need is uh, fiber, which unfortunately in this particular environment is not easy to find. It's actually very, very frustratingly difficult. Uh, and the reason that we need the fiber is that we needed to make fuel for uh, for either a drill or a chainsaw. Now you might be thinking, okay, well, why do I need a chainsaw? If I get a drill, I know I need that for mining. But the fact is, you need the drill or the the chainsaw as well because it allows you to cut down trees and trees in turn can be converted into or the the logs that you get can be converted into fiber which can be converted into more fuel so that's an early game necessity unless you happen to be lucky enough to uh, find a promethium uh, deposit which we have not then otherwise you're going to find yourself in a, a bit of a problem because without handling that you're going to find yourself to be up a creek all right so we're looking for fiber these proteins will do for now for food Is that a fiber plant? I mean it's, it is. Okay, so I need each of these gives me four, and I need ten. So let's take a look around here. Kind of jump, try and see. The only way you can see them is they're they're kind of dark plants. So is that one over there? That's a rock. That's not going to do us any good. Kind of wish I could get like a pair of binoculars or something to see with a bit more detail. There might be some over there to the left. Uh, more wreckage. Now we're going to keep checking out these wrecks. Uh, before we go to the the main one the distress signal one there primarily because if we can find more of the materials that we need to use that before it goes bad. Uh, I need fiber. That is a serious problem. The other thing we need is raw materials, so uh, since we can't mine yet uh, in, in terms of like digging into the ground uh, until we have an actual drill, well, we've got this tool for mining surface deposits. Let's see here, okay. And that's just these rocks that are sitting on the ground here. And we're going to try and get as much as we can. Now this little tool can also be used for self-defense, uh, although you have to switch the mode, which is inconvenient as hell when you're in a, a tight situation. You don't really have a lot of time to go, oh, I need to change modes real quick. You're kind of going, help, 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 I don't want to die. And the, the game is not really doing you any favors that way, so. 
for the most part, we're just gonna get as much as we can here. There's some more copper. Okay, so we've got eight copper so far. Don't let the number of little nuggets that it drops fool you. Oh, we definitely need that silicon. Is that uh, silicon is for surface deposits? Silicon is hard as hell to find on a regular basis. So as soon as you can, but you need it for the uh, the drill and the. Uh, the gir, um, <laughs> for the drill and the uh, I'm having a mental moment here in order to, to get the oh wait I see, yep there it is okay in order to get the drill and the uh chainsaw you need to have a bit of uh, could get an egg from there but again that'll go bad before I can do anything with it so it's not really worth going after just yet the the chainsaw is ooh, big boy don't get mad at me I'm not gonna I'm not here to take your your cornflakes. Plenty of food. That's nice. Give me something. Uh, not immediately useful, but okay. I'll accept that now. I need a fiber plant. Or, well, technically, I need two fiber plants. If I'm going to get some basic food, fuel for the chainsaw so that I can have a larger supply of fuel after the fact. This is really... right there. Okay, so that's another one. So we have eight fiber now. Okay. We need one more fiber. Take that vegetable. Another green. That's very good rock. Come on, more fiber, one more fiber. That's all that's required. So let's go find what uh, your regular rock. Don't really need you right now. Need an iron rock. That's what I really need. More copper. Take it. copper around there, but not enough of the stuff we actually need. Uh, fiber plant. Need a fiber plant. Okay, oh, we got a silicon deposit. Not gonna do us any good unless we can get a freaking drill. So without a drill, all the uh, all the materials in the world aren't gonna be worth snot. Oh, this looks like a berry tree. Yep, 
Okay. So we got some berries. Let's make some juice. Bug. Hopefully the things these things aren't too hostile. I do not want to get my face kicked in. Really, still no frickin' fiber. More copper bearing rocks. Jeez. Could we get any more frustrating? Well, there's a copper deposit, so now we're now we're officially tons of materials in. More copper, more copper. How about some iron? Okay. Uh, we're gonna have to try and find some locker or personal safe or something in this. Well, it looks like it's got something here. Wow, this thing's beat to heck. Looks like it's part of some kind of ship. Oh, no, don't fall in the hole. Okay, oh, personal locker. Okay, so we've got stuff to make our own stuff, but do we actually have enough to build? Uh, Frickin' uh, Okay, so we've got a tower that we can go visit, which is where? Back that way. Good God. Why is that so frustrating? No, we're just gonna send you continually running in the in back and forth directions so that you can get pissed off. Constantly. Well, thank you. You flippin' genius. But first, I need the fiber to make my fuel. Game, you are not my close friend right now. I hate you quite a bit because you won't give me fiber. Fiber is necessary. Why won't you give me some? Oh good, there's a dead thing over there. That's great. Does it fulfill any needs of mine? No, but, you know, who cares? As you can guess, I'm a little bit frustrated. Just one more thing of fibers. Oh, fiber plant. Ha. Ah. Okay. Let's run this thing. If you guys can't hear in the background, I've got a lot of uh, bad weather going on here. So let's run over here and let's make ourselves a, a little bit of a setup here. So let's get this out. All right, so we've got that silicon, copper, those, and that, and hopefully that will be enough for us to make. Oh wait, there it was. Biofuel. Oh wait, need the ten fibers. Biofuel, and then we need a chainsaw first. And I don't think we're going to have enough. No, okay. So well, let's go salvage some of this sucker. Another one. 
seems to be draining my stamina. Is this is like a life leeching beam. wasted those. Okay. So, put those in place. And tell it again. Make me a chainsaw. Okay. Alright, so we'll see if we can get those going. should get in here and tear this apart a little more thoroughly. One of the things I've noticed is that really early on one of the most important things you can do is work on managing your time appropriately. Because there's a lot of temptation to sit around and wait for things, and that's usually not going to work out in your favor. Alright, so we got some more steel plates. Oh, no, no! Oh, I hurt myself. So we've got the tools now, and so we can turn this around and use it to our advantage. We can remove the stuff that we've got there as is, get out our chainsaw, and reload that bad boy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try, I think these bugs are really going to badly trees right in front of them. So I have to be careful about that. But we're gonna we're gonna cleave down some of these trees here because they're annoying. Now one thing you have to remember is that even though it looks like I'm only getting like one log from each tree, we have to actually read down here in the bottom left side between the status panels and the inventory stuff, because like that was five logs, not just one. I wonder how many we'll get from one of these guys. Uh, just five, wow, that was shit. That was legitimately crappy. That was three? Really? Well, random. The random that sounds really does not take into account the size or anything. Five. Nope. Okay. But that will be enough to get me plenty more fuel. So all we've got to do now is go back to our construction device. Oh. Okay, so, feed the logs in, Let's throw that in, and let's make some magic. So, first thing we need to do is, let's do, sure, let's do 20, because each log will produce one thing of fuel. So now that's going to process for a little bit, so we're going to wait until we get one or two of them. Now let's eat while we're waiting here. Okay. Well, 
that's processing. It's, uh, let's take what we got here. Okay. So those are all processing. So that one delivers grain, that one delivers vegetables, and that one delivers fruits. Okay, so we've got fruits, vegetables, and fibers, and grains. So all the things we need from these in order to make things work out for us. to keep us going. Alright, we've got two things of fuel, so that should be good enough to get started. So let's see here. First on the order of business is going to be iron. So our first major item that we want to get to is iron. ahead and now one of the cool things you can do with this is there's a uh, there's a process that you can use to build things that you might not otherwise be able to build uh, and especially if you're not all that creative you can actually go in the workshop and gather up uh, designs that other people have have made available and then you can build them in game just by supplying all of the necessary materials and I'll show you how to do that, but first we need to gather up a ton of raw materials right underneath the tree. Awesome. That, that couldn't possibly be a worse outcome for us. Okay. So you want to try and find as close to this as you can. Okay. So right here is basically going to be as close as we're going to come. And then let's switch ways downhill that way. Okay, so wreckage, turn 90 degrees. Okay. I'm going to load this guy up. Make sure that we're on the ground drill. Let's get to dig. Now, unfortunately, this drill is so massively imprecise that there's no real way for me to uh, like, drill a hole that doesn't feel like just a and so you can end up basically drilling yourself into the ground with no way out. See, like, there's no way I'm going to ever jump that. Aw. Oh. So you kind of got to plan around that. So what we're doing is we're drilling down enough. It takes a little bit here because it's the, the voxel deformation is really kind of weird. Okay, so we've reached the iron. And you'll know that because it will change from say the crushed stone there to iron. There we go. Alright, we've made it to the iron. So there's a whole bunch of iron right there. The wreckage is there, so this way is the way we want to go to try and get out. So we're going to try and just push against this wall along the road and have our drill facing slightly upward so that we can drill the hole. Get out. You always got to remember that when you're first tackling a new material is that it's going to try and just ruin you when it comes
comes to fuel. So if you don't plan ahead and make yourself an escape route, you're going to find yourself with no drill fuel stuck in the ground. And that's going to be the end of you. Let's turn our lights on here. Alright, so this is what passes for iron ore, uh, even though iron's not blue. But, you know, whatever. And we're also getting crushed stone, which will be useful to us for later. Yes, that's what we'll use for things like concrete. Just how the nature of the uh, let's see here. So this way, how much, uh, how far the drill actually reaches? Does it make you feel like you just lose your mind? Drill as much as we can here. It seems like just swinging it around and making sure that enough stuff forms uh, helps quite a bit, but it's hard to tell. This is kind of like the, the deformation and the actual production of raw materials don't really seem to directly relate to each other. So uh, let's drill this out a little bit more. I'd like to get about a hundred or so. Just if I can. So I'm spread the load around and make sure this all comes down at roughly the same level. A lot of people have different theories on how to do the in this game. I haven't found a thing that makes sense to me. So yeah, there it is. 
is. Okay, oh. That's gonna be a problem inside. Let's throw that out, please. escape tunnel. And that is the end of the fuel. We barely made it out of there. Not the best, but we came out well with over a hundred, so that's good enough. But by now the other fuel should be done. And we've leveled up a few times, so we should have some points to unlock some uh, new materials or some new some new blueprints and uh, components and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and get back here. I'm gonna set this to start processing, grab my fuel, and then in the next episode we're gonna go ahead Run there with stamina. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the time to uh, start taking a look at the menu that lets us pick out our skills. All right, or not even skills like blueprints or templates or whatever it is that we're unlocking. Anyway, until next time, I'm Wrath, and I will catch you on the flip side.